What you guys got another video here for you on how to completely uninstall antivirus software in Windows 10 or any other version of Windows. Now, antivirus software can be troublesome to uninstall and remnants can be left behind, which can cause problems when you go to install another antivirus program. So I wanted to show you the correct way of completely removing any security software from your computer. Now, normally people would go to control panel, open up control panel, and then go to the program section where they uninstall their program. Now you can uninstall antivirus software from here, but sometimes what happens is it can get messed up during the uninstall process or remnants of the antivirus can get left behind. So when you go to install other security software, you won't be able to because it will stop you. Now the correct way to do it is use the uninstall utilities that come with these antivirus programs. Now, in this case, we're looking at Advast, but there is plenty of others to choose from, and I'll show you those after we remove this one. So I'm gonna download this tool, it gives you some instructions on how to remove these. I'll leave all the links for these tools on my website because there's quite a few of them, and I'll leave them on there so you can uh, download them. So this is the actual program or utility which has been created for Avast. And what we're gonna do here you can go to MS config and go into safe mode and run this like I'm showing you here, but there's no need to do this because the program will do this for you. So if you do it physically here, it will remove this and go back to default settings afterwards. But if you do for the other programs, you may need to go into MS config and put it into safe mode and reboot the system like I'm showing you here. But this tool will actually do all this for you. But I just wanted to show you how to get into safe mode uh, so you can run other tools which might not have that capability of doing that. So basically now we're in safe mode and I've got the tool here. You can see Avast is still installed on the system. And what you're going to do here is you're going to run this tool as administrator. And this will then start the Avast antivirus clear. And this will clear any of the traces of Avast from the system. You can see here this is the uninstalled tool. There's also a selection area here for the particular type of program from Avast that you may be running. In my case, it's the free version, but if you've got one of the other versions, select that and then click uninstall, and it will go ahead and start uninstalling it and removing all of the traces of Avast from your system. So if you're gonna go ahead and install another antivirus program or security software suite, then you need to make sure you do this uh, before you install another software Otherwise, you're going to run into problems sometimes. So now I've got that removed, I'm going to reboot the system back to the desktop. And you'll see that Avast has been completely removed from the computer. And I can now go ahead and choose another antivirus or security suite and put it onto my computer. Now, I did mention that there is other versions for other antivirus programs like AVG, Bitdefender, uh, Kaspersky, and also Malwarebytes, McAfee. Norton and many other types of security software. Now, a lot of these companies do supply their own utilities to remove their software from the computer. And basically, if you use these software, it's gonna be a lot more easier to remove them from the computer. Now, rather than you go to all of that trouble and go to the site and download it, there is a piece of third party software which you can use, which is called Antivirus Removal Tool. Now, this piece of software is pretty nice for technicians who don't have the time to go to each website. Basically what this will do is allow you to remove uh, the software from the system uh, using uh, this particular software. It will then go off and download the correct utility for that particular security suite, which you want to uninstall. So there is a download button. I've downloaded the software. And basically what this is, is gonna allow me to run one of those utilities uh, and it will pull the right one for the software that's installed on the system. And I'm going to download and install this. So I've extracted it all to my desktop here, and I'm going to run this as an administrator. So you can see here, we do get Windows protected your PC, and that's because it is an unknown publisher. I'm going to run this anyway, and I will get the yellow prompt box telling me that it is an unknown publisher, but I'm okay with that and I'm going to continue and you can read the terms and conditions here and click accept and you can see here it's automatically detected the antivirus program that's installed on this system. You can now run an additional search for any other remnants that may be left behind uh, for other 
uh, antivirus software that may have been on here previously and remove all of that stuff as well. And this will stop you having any sort of conflicts or any issues installing other software, which I see quite a lot from people. Now, ideally, you want to go for the third step here and uninstall it via the Windows built-in functionality. And then after you've done that, you can then run the specialized uninstaller and remove it. But I'm going to skip that part. But if you do want to do it, you would then click on the open up Windows, add and remove programs and remove it here and then run the specialized uninstaller. I'm just going to run this specialized installer here uh, straight away because uh, to cut down on time. But that's how you would basically go ahead and remove this completely. Now, before we continue here, uh, it says this tool is recommended to run in Windows safe mode and it will do this for you when you say yes, do that for me. Uh, but I just wanted to show you it has a variety of different tools all listed here and you can select which one you want to run uh, depending on which one's installed on your system. So basically it will let you get them here and it saves a lot of time as a PC repair tech uh, doing this. So I'm going to say yes, reboot my system in safe mode it will say your system will now restart and it will basically restart into safe mode so you can then run that software and uninstall Avast from that environment and then basically it will reboot the system back to the desktop. So you don't need to go into MS Config with this piece of software but I showed you that in the previous part of the video because I wanted to show you that just in case some of the other pieces of software don't uh, boot straight into safe mode like the Avast uh, removal uh, utility here. So let's go ahead and get back into safe mode here and let this remove the software from the system. It does take a bit of time, so just be patient and let it do its thing. And then once we're back into safe mode, it will automatically give me the option to remove this software. So now we're there and you can now see, I'm just gonna choose which version of Avast I've got installed. In this case, it's the free version and click uninstall and it will remove all of the software from the PC. Now you can use the built in Windows feature and then run this software and it will remove any sort of traces afterwards. And that's what I'd advise you to do. You can do that and uh, it will remove everything from the computer and you can see it's now been removed and you can go ahead and now reinstall another piece of software of your choice. Now there is other options available like Revo Uninstaller free version and it's the portable app version as well or the install version. This will allow you to remove all of those uh, programs from your system. It will remove it via the Windows Uninstall program and then it will remove all of the traces of the registry keys and stuff like that and folders from the PC as well and you can use that method. This software does the same thing. You would just use the Uninstall Windows through the uninstall Windows app and then run the program afterwards and it will remove the whole antivirus program. And hopefully that will resolve any problems that you have or any sort of conflicts you have installing other security software. Just want to say a big special thanks to these people who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. Now, if you've got any problems with your computers, you can always join our Discord server. It's free to join. The link is in the video description. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope to see you on the Discord server for a chat or if you need any help or advice with any sort of computer problems. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.